Alright guys, in this video, uh, you need to make sure you have a TI-83 calculator or some equivalent so I can show you how to put this stuff in correctly on a calculator. But this is a video on showing you how to convert from grams of an element or really grams of a compound if you need to. Grams of uh, just grams to atoms. And some people do these in two steps, but I'm going to show you to do it in three steps. That way you don't get confused later on. Okay. Now, uh, write down your given. You're given you have 1.00 times 10 to the negative 9. That's a really small amount. Grams of lead, PB. And that's over 1. Now, once again, you still do your dimensional analysis like you always do. If this is grams of PB, grams of PB will be down here. Now, to get grams of PB, all you got to do is look in your periodic table, and your periodic table states that PB is 207.20. Do you see that? 207.20. Sorry, right there. 207.20. It's the 82nd element. So it's 207.20 grams of PB. Now, what I always do is I always write the one mole of PB up here. Now, the reason I do that is uh, you learned earlier that one mole of something can be the following. You learned that one mole of something could be equal to the molar mass or equal to that 6.02 times 10 23rd atoms, molecules, ions, from units, representative particles. Anything really, really <coughs> small, excuse me. Anyway, I'm going to uh, continue this step. Down here, I'm going to write one mole of PB. Okay, it's kind of redundant, but this is the way I want you to learn to do it. That way you don't get confused later. Now, you know that one mole of PB could be equal to the molar mass, which we have there. But we need atoms. So this is where I'm going to stick the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd number. And it's going to be atoms of PB. And that's all your steps, okay? And you're done. So you notice that grams of PB cancels with grams of PB, mole of PB cancels with mole of PB, and you're just left with atoms of PB, which is what they wanted. And remember, whatever you're looking for will always be on top. Now let me show you how you punch this in on a calculator. Now, you got to punch in 1.00. Okay, do y'all see that? 1.00. Okay. Now. To do this times 10 thing, what you need to do is on your calculator, you need to hit second, comma. And if you notice, it puts an E on there, like a capital E. Now, to type in negative 9, you hit the negative sign, which is down by the inner sign, which is right there. There's the negative sign. So that'll be negative, okay, do y'all see that? Negative 9. Okay, so you're done with that. And it'll be times this 6.02. Now remember, do times 10. You hit second, comma, which is up above the 7. And that gives you that, that E. Then you type in the 23rd. Okay, so make sure you can see that. 1.00 times 10 to the negative 9 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. After that, you can press Enter. And that's the entire value of the numerator. Now, if you look, the only number we need to divide by in the bottom is that 207.20. So I'm just going to hit divide. Now, if you do that, make sure ANS pops up because ANS means the last answer that displayed. So ANS of, and since we only have one number in the bottom, really, because ones are ignored, you just type in uh, 207.20. After that, you hit enter. And we get this big, long, old number, okay? You get, uh, I'll write down most of it, 2.9054054054. Then you see uh, this E symbol and then a 12. Let me explain that to you. Okay. First of all, we need to make sure that we get our sig figs right. We got three sig figs right here, so we need three sig figs. Okay. So we'll take the two the point, the 9, and this 0 is going to turn into a 1. Now, this E, though, will turn into times 10. Okay, that's what that E represents as exponential. And that 12 there stands for the power that you write on the on the 10. So it'll be 2.91 times 10 to the 12th, what, atoms, P, 
PB. Now, if you need more help with the calculator, just watch the video over again, over and over and over, and pay attention to how I press the buttons. But the hardest one to learn is the second comma. Okay, the second is the yellow key, and the comma gives you that EE -E symbol that's on the calculator, which I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's right there above the comma, that EE -E right there. Alright guys, I hope this helps, but this is how you convert grams of something to atoms of something.